actually, it's what I always wanted to do. Um, I knew that I wanted to major in aerospace engineering, and I did. And I, I got my bachelor's, master's, and then um, unfortunately, the space shuttle blew up first time. Um, so for a while there, I made computer chips for Micron Technology, uh, and then um, taught at university for a while, went back and got my PhD, and then continued on in the space field. And off and on, I was working in the aerospace field here and there on different projects. So I guess I'm one of those unique people that has always worked in my field of study. And I always knew I wanted to do this. So it's been it's been a really interesting journey uh, working for all of the different companies and in all of the different aspects of the space industry. So um, I have uh, colleagues that tell me I'm unique in that I have worked in space situational awareness, space domain awareness, satellite building, satellite flying, launch, and all of that. So I've kind of made the circle all around. I just found it fascinating and I really enjoyed uh, applying what I learned to this actual field and then learning those little nuances that you never will get in school. So it's been just a fascinating journey and I uh, never tire of it. So that's kind of how I got into the field. Was it kind of not what women do when I first started? Yeah, I was always the only woman in my classes at university. And um, so, but I did not care. <laughs> And I just kept going and it's, it's been wonderful.